things that sort of puzzled me is that, you know, the economy, as you rightly point out, is, is, is chugging along pretty well. But President Biden's getting really low marks for on the economy. Uh, voters are really unhappy with the economy. I mean, inflation has calmed down uh, a lot. Uh, you know, the unemployment rate is low. Retail sales are strong. So what's what's the deal with this mismatch, this this misperception about how the economy is is doing? And is there anything that that, you know, if you were working in, you know, on the, on the Council of Economic Advisors for for President Biden, is there anything that you would suggest that he do differently to sort of help steer uh, right. the economy in a different direction or, or, or steer at least steer perceptions in a different direction? Yeah. So so when, when you look at the when I look at the economy and look at the data, I see a lot of dissonance. Uh, I don't see an economy that's doing exceptionally well. It's true. The unemployment rate is is, is low. It's three point seven percent up from three point four. Still very, very low. The uh, the rate of uh, unemployment that economists assigned to an economy that's full employment is 4.4, 4.5%. So we really have unemployment an unemployment rate or a job market that's very tight, an unemployment rate that's probably too low. Um, you know, job openings still exceed um, unemployment by three, three and a half million. Um, it's come down from, it was at a higher level a few months ago, but it's come down, sign of loosening, good sign. But the economy is, is probably, um, uh, given the resources that are being deployed in the labor market, for example, is probably growing too fast. And that's putting a, a lot of pressure on prices and inflation. And, you know, in the last decade or two, we had inflation that was running, uh, let's say, between one and two percent. The Fed would like it at two percent. We are still more than two times two times the Fed's target. So inflation has come down from a from a, a high that was the highest level in 40 years since the early 1980s. So the economy's, do, I would say it's doing okay, but there's a lot of dissonance. It's, um, it's, it's growing perhaps unevenly. Uh, manufacturing was not doing particularly well over the last three or four months, let's say. Uh, services has been regaining some ground, particularly like leisure hospitality. Uh, that took it, that industry took it on its the sectors took took really took it on ahead during COVID. It's taken a long time to recover. You know the economy I think is going through a significant transition. You have the return to work um, issue. Um, you have labor force participation that is still below pre-pandemic levels, and so that's that's probably a concern. Uh, we have labor productivity. And this is something I haven't seen a lot of focus on, an occasional article, um, but we've had labor productivity has been falling, has been negative for five consecutive quarters. It hasn't done that since 1947. And that is uh, you know, perhaps a significant, if that persists, that's a very significant problem going forward. Um, living standards, the rise in living standards is loosely tied to population growth and productivity. Uh, growth and uh, product productivity growth stays persistently low. Um, you know, then then living standards would rise more slowly, almost by 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 definition. And um, so that's a that's a real concern. I, so, you know, who, who, you know, it's hard to explain why someone has high or low marks. Uh, just talking about the economy and the data, though, I think that it does suggest um, there's unevenness and and some dissonance. Inflation is down, but it's still a very, very significant concern. Um, the Fed is talking, a lot of the, the voting members of the FOMC in the last week are, are using the term skip and pause um, and, and, not, and not really saying we're at the top of our interest rate increasing cycle. They're using very different language than, let's say, the, the markets. Um, the markets are, are thinking that you know, maybe we'll have another interest rate increase in July, and then it'll plateau. And the Ch Chicago Mercantile Exchange they they have an uh, uh, analytical uh, tool that that looks at bond prices and and has a forward looking predictor of interest rates. They have interest rates coming down in the fall. Uh, the Fed lowering interest rates beginning in the fall, and maybe that will happen. Maybe maybe it won't. But the markets seem to be having you know, seem to have a different view of what the path of interest rates will be, then, then really the signals the Fed has been giving.